What's up guys, my name's Ian. And I'm Frank. We're going to be showing off the roll cage that we installed in the Mini Cooper Sport. It's a full cage and uh, we'll show it off later. Yeah, it's a six point cage. We'll show you guys um, who installed it, how they did it. And we're also going to be installing the Sneed for Speed spoiler on the Mini. And we chose this one because one, it's carbon fiber. And two, because it sits behind the car which creates minimal drag while providing a good amount of downforce. And we're going to try and show you guys every step of how we install it. So let's get to it. Alright, so the first step that we have to do is remove the interior trim from the trunk. We've never done this before, so it's going to be a learning experience for all of us. First thing that we see is there's six screws that can come out here, here, and here on both sides. And then we'll see what we have to do from there. Alright, so after you get the screws out, it looks like you just pull it off. It's got those little pop rivets on it. Might have to be a little rough with it, but it's all good. Ow, it hit me in the face. That kind of hurt. Oh, okay. So, the way it looks is it's pop rivets. You come out this way, and then it sits underneath this one right here. Right in here. right on out. And this has four as well. I'm going to push it in this direction. And that's how all the interior. Alright, so once you got all the interior off, you're going to take off this little plastic cover and you're going to find a nut underneath it which is where you will take off the stock spoiler or lip whatever you want to call it and you'll just take that on both sides and then it should pop right on off for you all right so now that we got the two um the nuts out we still can't get the wing off so gotta hit the internet and see what they say for how to remove it all right, so after a little bit of research, it seems that we it's actually glued down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a heat gun and on all the points of contact, we're just gonna heat it up and then try and pry it off from there. Hopefully it doesn't go too bad. All right, so some more uh, research. So on top of the two nuts and bolts that are connected to the stock spoiler, it's actually some adhesive that needs to have some special work done to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to tape around it because we're actually going to use two vice grips and some really strong steel wire or you can use fishing wire at that. And you're literally just going to pry in between the spoiler to try and uh, break it apart. So we're going to tape it off real quick and then move to step two. Taking the stock spoiler off. Alright, so here we go. Let's see if it works. Looks like it's going through it pretty easily, pretty quickly. Just got to go back and forth and make sure you don't pull so hard that you break the connection with the vice grip. Like we just did. So, it's a good thing we have more string. But we're pretty much at the end. It was literally about to be done on the uh, right side there. So we'll grab some more and uh, go back at it. Alright, so the whole time that he's going to be cutting, I'm also going to try and pull up on the wing. That way it doesn't like stick back down. Pull up. Okay, yeah, that's one side off. On to the next one. Alright. That's how you take a stock spoiler off. I'm quitting. Alright, so after doing a little more research, we realized that the install instructions that they have for the Sneak for Speed uh, spoiler are only meant for R56s. They do sell it for R53s, which is what we have, but they do not have any install instructions. So we have to wing it here, and the only way to do that is to actually drill through our um, 
trunk. the top of our trunk. Whereas for the R56, you just have to bolt it into existing bolt holes. So that's a little upsetting, but we're gonna try and make it work still. Alright, so we just tried to put the bolts that Sneed for Speed provided us with through the hole that we just drilled. They actually do not reach from the outside to the inside, so we have to go through those, pick up some bolts that will be longer than the ones that Sneed for Speed provided to uh, continue this project. So we're going to pop out, go to Lowe's real quick, and uh, be right back. Alright, so we just got back from Lowe's. We got the correct size uh, screws now. They make it all the way through so we can hang the bracket on there. We're going to bolt it down and we're going to mark the next two holes that we have to drill on either side of the bracket now. Alright, so now that we got the holes drilled out, what we did is we just put some tape down and sprayed some primer just so we cover all the bare metal spots so that it won't rust in the future. Alright, now we're going to screw it all on, give it a test fit, and then we'll start measuring for the rods. Now that's on. Next thing we got to do is put the wing together and mount it on the top. The brackets? Do you have? I got one of them. Oh, okay. All right. So I lied. The next thing we're doing is going to mount these brackets, and the way we're going to do that is we're going to measure from the bottom of the hole that's on the bracket up here to 18 inches to the most outside hole on the bracket. So we're going to line it up with some tape and then pull a tape measure out and try and make it make it work. All right, so we just mounted the bracket on there. It's pretty straightforward. What we also did do was seal it with some silicone, ultra black silicone. Yeah, uh, it's pretty much just a uh, gasket maker, and that just we use that on the inside of the um, the threads and around the outside as well. You might be able to see it that way to keep as much water out as possible. All right, so what we're doing now is we're going to put the mounts onto the bottom side of the wing. We're also going to be using some anti-seize there on the bolts because when they sent us the wing, the holes are a little rusty. I don't know if you can see that, but probably, nope, not really. They're a little rusty in there, and we're just going to need to use some anti-seize to prevent it from rusting anymore and getting the screws stuck in there. All right, so we just tightened the top brace fully on, right? So we just put some uh, flexible washer. We put some silicone and tightened it up and it's all secure now. So next step is we put the four rods on. We're going to tighten each individual bolt nut. Then we're gonna place the wing back on top for real for real and put some side markers on it and make it all look good. Alrighty, so we ran into two more problems here. First problem is these little rods, if the camera will focus, are bumping onto the bolts on the top, so we're not going to get as flush of a finish as we'd like. Also, the other rods that come on the back side are too wide to fit in there. I don't know if they gave us the wrong ones or if, I don't even know. They don't fit. Fitment on this kit has not been good, to say the least. So both sides, fitment problems. We're going to probably cut one of these little pop downs off. That way we'll just mount to one side instead of trying to go in between. We'll see how that goes. All right, so while Frank is working on getting those cut, I'm gonna be working on getting these little side wings put on, but some more problems from Sneed Speed. They only pre-drilled one of the holes, so it looks like I'm gonna to have to take a measurement from there to there and drill some more holes. All right, so we just got this wing fitted. It screws in perfectly now. What we were planning on doing was take this wing, 
put it right on top of the other one, and then just mark the second hole, screw it out. But the wings are actually two different templates. They're not exactly the same. And then the holes on the other side are not equally spaced apart. So now we are just took measurements and drilled up the second one. So almost done. All right, so now we got everything installed. The wing is pretty much on there. We're just making sure everything's tight and um, we're good to go. I'll give you guys a few shots of what the wing looks like. Alright, what's up guys? It's a totally new day now. Uh, I've had the wing on for about a week, gone racing on it, did a mountain rally with it. The wing looks awesome as you guys saw, and it, as far as I can tell, performs awesome. Nothing's come loose, it's on there super tight. Um, I'm sure as you guys also saw, it was a pain in the ass to install. I reached out to Sneed Speed about that, and they pretty much said that they didn't have an R53 to put it on, ever. So I'm thinking that it wasn't really made for the R53, but it can be jerry-rigged on there like we did it. It's a pain in the ass, but it can be done. It's still super functional, still works like it's supposed to, and it looks awesome. And now for the roll cage. Um, the actual roll bar itself we got from Sneed Speed, and it's, it's okay. It's not the best quality, but it's, it's definitely gonna get the job done. They also came with some holes that's supposed to run all the way to the back here as well but I took it to a custom shop around where I live I think it's BC chassis and custom or something like that and they made their own bars as well as the bars that come down into the front of the cabin they did pretty dang good work it's an awesome roll cage now only problem that I have with it is it sits a little too low so I do hit my head on it occasionally, but I'll plan on getting some new racing seats eventually, so that'll take care of that. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to like and subscribe.